Hi guys, are you struggling with limited Wi-Fi coverage in your large business space or an outdoor area? Imagine being able to install high-power PoE access point up to 1,600 feet away from your main network and without the need for additional power source or a complicated wiring. Now, with a pair of PoE extender, you are able to extend the reach of your wireless network effortlessly and enjoy the fast and reliable connectivity throughout the entire place. Now, please like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below, and we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you. So the standard PoE Plus wireless access point is a wireless networking device that is being powered by the PoE technology. Now it allows both power and data transmitted over a single Ethernet cable. So there's no separate power source needed enabled for easy installation. Also provide fast and efficient data transfer rates. And it can support a large number of simultaneous users in an open area. And today we are going to install this wireless access point. It uses about 30 watts of power in total. So if we're using a 30 watt PoE switch or injector, obviously it won't provide enough power because their power loss occur during a long distance installation. That's why we're using the 60 watts PoE injector today. Let's move on to the demonstration board and check out our setup. So here we are in front of the board. You can see I already have the access point here at the edge and the 60 watt PoE injector is by our main network router. Today we are using the 300 meters ethernet cable here to connect with the device that's about 1000 feet. But we all know the PoE has a limitation of 100 meters that's 328 feet. And it is important to note the maximum distance limitation is affected by the voltage drop, which is the loss of power over the length of Ethernet cable. It will cause the device cannot receive sufficient power. So the further away the device are from the PoE source or the PoE injector, the more the voltage drop and resulting in lower power level at the end of the cable. And that's why we need a PoE extender. A PoE extender can extend the reach of the PoE technology. And it works by receiving the power and data from the PoE switch or the injector through the Ethernet cable and then boosts up the power and retransmit it over the second Ethernet cable to the edge device. So in a most common way, if you add 100 meter, you add a PoE extender. If you add 200 meter, you will add two PoE extender. However, in our case, it is very special because we only need a pair of PoE extender, that's two of them, and provide up to 300 meter. So now let's do the connection and see what happened. So let's do the connection from the beginning. Now remember this is the 60 watts PoE injector and it has power source already built in and already plugged into the power source so you can see the lights is on and also this is 100% waterproof. I took out the neck and the gland for faster insulation but in a real connection you should add this. So now I'm going to use a short patch cord here to connect our router with the injector. Now, this is the data port. Make sure you plug this with the main router. All right, and this is the PoE output port. I'm going to use another short patch cord here to connect it with the PoE extender. Okay, and this is the PoE extender that we're using. In the most common way, we use the PoE input port here to connect with the PoE switch or injector and the output port with the edge device, right? However, in our special method here, we are going to flip it around. Let's connect the 
output port with our PoE injector. This is the output port. And then the input port here with the Ethernet cable. So it's already plugged in. So the input port is facing the Ethernet cable here. This is the 300 meter Ethernet cable. And let's come over to this side. For this side, we are using the input port to connect with the Ethernet cable. I'm going to plug it in here. And using another short patch cord, to connect with our wireless access point. I'm going to plug it in here. And you can see the indicated light is getting on. Now it's just take a few seconds to run the cable, to run the access point. So the whole setup is done. Remember the trick? You have to place the PoE extender input port facing the input port. And there's no complicated configuration needed due to the plug and play feature. Also, there's no AC adapter needed anywhere or by the edge device, only a single Ethernet cable. It can provide up to 100 megabit per second fast networking. Also, support 60 watts of PoE plus extension. Now the PoE extender is also IP67 waterproof. You can use a wrench to fasten up the gland and the neck in order to prevent water or dust to get into the cable. And if your installation requires a high bandwidth, I strongly recommend you to use the fiber optic cable. Now you can watch the video here on how to use the fiber optic cable to install a wireless access point. And thank you so much for watching us today, and I'll see you next time.